What's up guys and welcome back to Flare Reviews. Tonight I have for the review of Ghostbusters Afterlife. From come out came out last year, 2021. It's a fantasy comedy gonna run you two hours and four minutes. Directed by Jason Reitman, who is the son of Ivan Reitman, who directed Ghostbusters 1 and 2 in 84 and 1989. This cast includes Paul Rudd, McKenna Grace, Finn Wolfhart, Logan Kim, and Celeste O'Connor. So this movie is basically following the death of Egon Spangler. His, and then we flip over to his daughter and their two kids. They can't pay rent, so they find, they've been gifted um, this is old, just run-down farmhouse in the middle of BFE, um, Oklahoma. And basically the daughters understand why she was given this, because her father has been around for years, the kids don't know her. And so basically we get the whole story of like how the kids discover who their grandpa actually was and like how famous he was and the reason why he went away and didn't really communicate with anybody. And I won't give away too much because like this is a new movie that just came out a few months ago on Redbox and stuff. But the whole premise of the movie is, I think is actually really cool. The special effects are awesome. And the kids that cast this movie are freaking phenomenal. Um, but kind of Grace, she looks just like the other casting for her role as Egon's granddaughter is absolutely spot on. And Finn Wolfhart, you'll know him from, he's he's uh, Mike in Stranger Things. You'll recognize him from there. And the guy, Logan Kim, he plays a kid named Podcast. He has a podcast, which I love because I also have a podcast. So it's kind of cool. And so basically they did a really good job of casting these kids to kind of play their respective roles in this movie. And the end scene's really cool. Um, there's a lot of callbacks to the original ones. Again, I don't want to give anything away. But definitely go check this movie out. It's so good. I, I, I honestly loved it. I'm a very nostalgic person, and I love the original Ghostbusters movies personally. So if you love the original ones, again, a lot of callbacks. There's not one, but two end credit scenes. I'm not going to tell you what they are. Definitely stay after if you get on TV. Two end credit scenes. So definitely go out, check this one out, pick it up. You can get on Redbox, On Demand, all that kind of stuff or whatever. It's out there. Go find it. Just watch it and you'll get the feels probably like I did. So I'm gonna give this one an 8.7. That's right, an 8.7, I'm gonna give it a high one because I'm nostalgic and I think Ghostbusters franchise is phenomenal except for the 2016 disaster that happened, which we won't talk about. So again, go check this out and I will talk to you guys next time at Flare Reviews.